Hi, this is the fourth video on reflections. Here we're going to focus on perimeters and areas of reflected figures and a kind of a fun thing, grab and move the line of reflection. Get ready. First, we'll look at perimeters and areas of reflected figures. So we'll need to go over to the software. So once you have reflections open, we're going to go over to the tools, go over to templates, and we're going to go down to the fourth template, which is perimeters and areas. That's tools, templates, perimeters, and areas. And you'll notice it's giving me the perimeter of the pre-image triangle ABC. Kind of an odd number, but okay. So let's go ahead and reflect about that horizontal line and notice what's going on there. And so we're going to go ahead and play investigate, explore, discover, and I'm hoping you're using the student software can play yourself and um, pause as needed. Change the line of reflection to a vertical line. See if these your conjectures seem to be holding true. And then to a slanted or diagonal line. So what conjectures can you make mentally? Pause the video as needed. So on page two, I'll look at problem 4a and answer that question. After observing the perimeters being shown, what conjecture can you make? And then also, why should this be true? See if you can come up with some kind of logical reasoning why this would make sense. So press pause and then resume when you're ready. So after observing the perimeters being shown, what conjecture can you make? Well, something like if a triangle is reflected about any line, the perimeters of each triangle, the pre-image and the image, are equal. Now, why should this be true? Well, two reasons. One could be the triangles are congruent, so their perimeters should be the same. Or, since the corresponding sides are equal, when you add up those equal corresponding sides, the sums will be equal as well. So, take your pick. Press pause as needed. All right, back to the TI Inspire software. Uh, we looked at the perimeters. Let's now go ahead and reset this and um, reflect again about a horizontal line. Only this time we'd like to look at the areas. So over here, there's a little thing that says next. Let's click on next and notice it's giving you the areas of each of those two figures. So again, we'll grab point C, grab point A, pull them around, C, if there's any conjectures you can make about the areas of these two figures. Change it to a vertical line. And hopefully you're doing this on your own as well with your software. What conjectures can you make? And then about a diagonal or slanted line. Notice again, you can't grab point A, B, A prime, B prime, or C prime because those are dependent upon triangle A, B, C. You can only grab the um, pre-image, not the image. All right, later you'll be asked to make a conclusion about that. Um, let's go ahead and move on to the next. So we're going to grab and move the line of reflection. Normally you just grab the triangle. Let's try grabbing and moving the line of reflection. That should be fun. So returning to the software, I'm going to go over to Tools. And this time I'm not going to go to Templates. I'm going to go to Reflection Method. So Tools, Reflect to Reflection Method. And I want to go with Movable Line because we want to move the line of reflection. So Tools 2-2. Two, two. So here we have triangle ABC that's being can be reflected about this line here. So I'm going to go ahead and reflect it. And if you want, you can pull C around if you want to do that. 
uh, but you can grab you can move point or the line uh, PK by either grabbing P K or the line so let's grab point P and pull it and notice what the reflection looks like as we do that we could also grab K and pull that one and we can even grab the line that isn't one of those two points and move that around and see how that reflects and so on and then grab and move vertices so go ahead and pause play, investigate, explore, discover. This concludes video four on reflections. You're really gonna like video five using grids and coordinates. It's like the best one.